Gemini, my air sign Gemini. What is up and what is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you so much for clicking on this video and tuning in. Thank you for my new subscribers. Thank you for the subscribers. Welcome back to my channel, you guys. So I'm going to be getting into your love reading for November 2022. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node, Gemini. If you have Gemini anywhere, and I mean anywhere in your chart, this reading is for you. Keep in mind that this is going to be general. Okay, so take whatever resonates with you and leave the rest for another Gemini. Let's get into it. Alright, let's see what's coming out for you guys. Mm. So I feel like um, the Eight of Pentacles is here, Ten of Pentacles in reverse. There's something going on with your money. Or well, this could be someone around you, a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn here. Okay, I feel like you're working very hard. This may be self-employment. You're building a business, a reputation. You're mastering your craft, perfecting your skill. You're working on something. This could be a new job coming in for you. But I feel like there's something here where there's unexpected changes. There's a financial disaster, bankruptcy, huge losses. Or this is your person. I feel like somebody's losing a lot of money. Um, somebody could be like filing for bankruptcy. Or they just lost a lot of money. Somebody may have gotten robbed or their car or their house was broken into. Yeah, five of wands. There's a lot of fighting, fussing, and arguing going on here. Okay. I'm getting a broken home. Okay, so if this is a family uh, situation, I feel like there's a lot of conflict here. A lot of arguments, fussing, and fighting. There's a struggle. Okay, there's clashing between personalities, egos, there's jealousy, envy over money or some sort of investment. Seven of Pentacles, something you've been waiting on, something you've been waiting uh, to come to harvest, to pay off, maybe your hard work. You're waiting for things to come into fruition. More Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, you may have uh, Earth... A lot of earth is showing up. So earth prominently could be in your chart. Yeah, you may be connected to someone who's married or you're married to this person or this is a family situation. Okay, Pisces energy, Ace of Swords. That's the truth. I feel like there's going to be a breakthrough happening here. Okay, hmm. This may be an argument or something about some sometimes some, someone invested in a marriage here. Okay, maybe they're still speaking to someone that they have children with or family with or someone that they're still married to. Yeah, the lovers. I feel like this soulmate is being guided to you, Gemini, but there may be more than one person here that you need to decide from. There may be a choice between two. Okay, there could be multiple partners here. Okay, and the four of swords at the bottom of the deck, someone is stressed out. This could be you or Libra that you're connected to. Or you may have Libra in your chart here. This fear, anxiety, stress, someone is feeling overwhelmed, mental overload. This could be a soulmate. Okay. I feel like you um, want some rest, some peace to relax. You want some quiet here. Okay. Because there's a lot of conflict. Okay. Somebody may be going to the hospital. Or you just need to meditate and relax. Okay. Six of Wands in reverse. Yeah, I feel like success and victory is a failure here. Okay, someone is losing. This may be a Leo or you have fire in your chart or someone does. But I feel like, yeah, someone's being haunted by ill will. Someone's disgraceful. Disgraceful. They're losing. Someone is losing. Okay, well, losing what? Losing at something. A brand new beginning. Okay. So I feel like you're not paying someone any attention. They may want your attention. Okay. But I feel like there's no success and victory here. Okay. I feel like there's a lot of sex here. Or a lot of passion here. Ace of Wands. But you may be finding a new passion. Or there's a brand new beginning. A new passionate begin beginning coming in for you. Okay. Let's see. Knight of Swords in the reverse. Aquarius energy. So this is a missed opportunity. Okay, possibly with this person. Someone is out of control. You're leaving them behind. They're ruthless. They're rude. 
they're very hurtful, okay, or they say hurtful shit, or that's you, <laughs> because somebody was breadcrumbing you, yeah, tower, somebody wants to receive money, or, or they, or you, they're supposed to give you money, this could be something that's old to you, somebody saying rude and hurtful shit, because they gotta give you money, or you, or they want you to give them some money, what, something is blown up in somebody's face, okay, the tower, Okay, somebody is very stressed out, <laughs> has fear, anxiety over what? They can't sleep, they're, they're not, okay. They're at a breaking point, they're focusing on the past. This is mental anguish, someone feels guilty, okay. Maybe their um, tricks failed, okay, it backfired. I feel like, yeah, they wanted, they were arguing with you. This may have been an argument, a shake up or a break up over some money. Like, somebody got some money, an inheritance came in for someone, Ace of Wands. And I feel like someone feels like they missed out on this money. <laughs> okay, or, <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, what? You're not chasing for them, you're not asking about them, you could give a fuck. Okay, who is, what? <laughs> Gemini, which I... <laughs> I get yourself into okay. Who is this person that's stressed out over Gemini? I'm not understanding. <laughs> Wait a minute, this is like some Jerry Springer shit. Yeah, the higher font. This is somebody that you are in a committed relationship with, you're married to. Okay, are you standing up for your beliefs? What you believe in? Yeah, it's like you had to fight for something. Fight for what you believe in or something. Okay. Yeah, this may be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Someone who's like the parent of your child here. Okay. So I feel like you were in a committed relationship with this person. Or you are. Or, hmm. <sighs> Somebody's being very sweet, very kind. Okay. Yeah. This could be like a mother figure, like I said, the parent of your child, like a baby mama. This person may be dreaming about you or in deep feeling about you, okay? You're very interested in what you have to say or... Hmm. I feel like you still have feelings for this person. You care about them. Hmm. But you're making a final judgment call to reject they ass, okay? You're not interested. You don't care. Maybe it's because you're already in another connection, two of cups. They want to reconnect with you or there's some sort of contract here that they want you to sign, okay? Maybe a co-signing contract or, yeah, four of pentacles. They want to reconnect with you. They're still holding on to you. But I feel like this person is, like, dissatisfied because they're still holding on to, like, things from the past here. Um, holding on to past people or just things that they need to let go of that they have not. Someone may be greedy. This may, uh, the Four of Pentacles may also speak about greed. Um, someone holding on too tightly to their coins, um, stagnation. This may also talk about you saving up for a big purchase like a retirement or a home, a car or something like that. Okay. But I feel like, yeah, you're holding on to your money. It could be you're being stingy with your coins. It could be, okay, or this is this Capricorn. Yeah, but I feel like this person betrayed you or, or they feel like you betrayed them because you're holding on too tightly to your money. Yeah, they're sad that they lost you or they're at a loss, okay? Wow. <laughs> okay, wait a minute. This is like... Okay, somebody's fighting and arguing about uh, another person or uh, there's a family situation. So I feel like that's the, you, 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 you speak to your kids or some shit like that. Or you have to go through like the parent of your child to talk to your kids or some shit. And someone's arguing with you about that. There's conflict there or something. And then, it's, and then, and then there's a, a, somebody feels betrayal because you're not giving them no money. You, you're making money and they're losing money. They could be overspending when they need to save their money. Okay, yeah. You turn your back on someone here. You're not paying them no damn mind. Okay, who is this person you turn your back on? You don't want them. 
Yeah, someone that's trying to spy on you or get information from you or this is you, okay? Somebody may have turned their back on you, but they're still spying on you. It's what? <laughs> they're waiting. Okay, three wands talk, talks about waiting, okay? And um, waiting for your ships to come in. Waiting for what you put your intentions on to manifest. But I feel like somebody here is... Wanting to communicate, but they're stalking you, okay, what, because they're at a loss. Okay, they're waiting to see what you do, but they want to talk, but it's like immature, premature-ass communication. What the fuck is this, okay? There is an age gap between you two, so you're younger than them, or they're younger than you. Queen of Wands, you're standing in your power, Leo energy, very attractive, magnetic, okay, I feel like, yeah, this person, this may, this may be the parent of your child here, okay? Or you're just vibrating really high right now. Okay, sitting on your throne here, all right? Yeah, somebody is all up in their feelings with the moon card because they want to reconcile with you. They could be trying to do some spell work in order to reconcile with you. What the fuck? is this but your spirit guides moved you away from this person guided you away from this person with the six of swords yeah and you're guarded your wall is up your guard is up but oh, that's them sagittarius energy okay you don't trust this person this person may be paranoid that you're moving too far away that you're running away <laughs> that you're escaping so they're getting very paranoid here <laughs> person may be at a distance from you or um you had to distance yourself from them yeah there's separation here so i feel like y'all not together for some of y'all you're, you're just heartbroken this person betrayed you right you had to remove yourself from this person this is heartache this speaks about third party this speaks about unhappiness this speaks about um ill health like mental um mental health or some sort of conflict sadness okay division okay yeah because this this person is way too toxic they're obsessed with you okay they may have some sort of a mental illness here yeah this person they're being secretive or you are but y'all not speaking or there's barely any communication you're listening to your intuition yeah eight of swords this person definitely has some psychological issues going on or that's you or somebody around you i don't know who this is okay why the fuck hold on yeah or you may be having some anxiety about this you may be in your head a lot with the eight of swords you may be feeling stuck trapped or blocked like you can't stop thinking about what happened okay and with this double card i feel like this person or someone wanted you tied chained and bound to them okay they may have a mental health issue i feel like you may have suspected that they did or this may be some depression. Okay, but whatever this is, uh, this is not good. I feel like with the devil and the high priestess, someone is doing like major freaking spell work. Like for real. To keep you tied, chained, or bound to them. Or keep you stuck, trapped, or blocked. To keep you paralyzed by fear or or imprisoned or whatever. Somebody needs to be called in uh, to the emergency. Or somebody may be having a crisis. I don't know who the fuck. Or this could be a prediction. Or this could be happening now. This may have happened already. Or this is coming up. Let's see what else. Yeah. Somebody is feeling isolated. They don't want to talk to nobody because they are in their head about you. They're they're paralyzed by fear. They're restricted, antisocial. They don't want to deal with nobody. They get mad when people come around. This person feels lonely. They're paranoid. But I'm seeing you come out of uh, fear, getting out more, coming out of hermit mode with the hermit in reverse here. Okay, yeah, someone with the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse, someone's a gold digger, or that's how you see them. They're very insecure and stable. They have a lot of fear in them. A lot of fear here. A whole lot of fear. Okay. Mm, yeah. Balance is being restored. You have too much going on here. 
Okay, I feel like you're thinking about money a lot or your main focus is money. It may be due to a legal situation or some sort of a court situation. But I feel like justice uh, is being served in your favor. Things are going your way. I feel like that um, this court situation is going in your favor and balance is being restored here. Let's get a few more for Gemini. What the fuck? Okay, look up the angel number two that also speaks about dedication. You may be seeing the numbers 11, 11 a lot, so your manifestations are coming in. Be careful about your thoughts and the things that you say around this time, because if you're seeing 11, 11 a lot, that means that spirit is bringing in your manifestations quickly. Yeah, you're being burdened. You, you've been burdened. I feel like, or things are working out for you and this other person is burdened. They're being overburdened, overloaded with responsibilities. They're stressed out. They have problems. It feels like the weight of the world is on their shoulders here. Alright, this may be like, um, someone is burnt out. This could be you burnt out. Okay, taking on too much or there's some delays when it comes to this legal situation here. Or you've been feeling burdened by this court situation. Maybe you've been having to go back and forth to court. You're stressed out about that. Okay, let me see what else is coming in. Yeah, you're fighting for something. Could be in court or you're fighting with this person about something. You're standing up for what you believe in. The Seven of Wands. So I feel like this legal situation is being protected here. Okay, I do see this legal situation going in your favor after some struggle, after some burden, after you fighting for what you believe in. Okay, I do see it happening for you. Yeah, the sun. Okay, number 19 with the sun. Yes, that is a yes. I see happiness, freedom, positivity, success, vitality, joy, confidence, self-expression, good luck, enthusiasm, truth, openness. Someone may be pregnant or becoming pregnant. Congratulations. Yes, Ace of Cups. Somebody may be pregnant with a girl. I'm sorry to tell you the sex, but I just got to. It may be a boy for some of you. Um, but there's a brand new beginning here. Spirit is giving you or handing you a new relationship, a new love, a new romance. But I'm just seeing you happy overall. You may be pregnant or fertile right now. You may be ovulating. Okay. Hmm. Let's see what's going on here. But there's a brand new beginning in love here. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. Yeah. I feel like you're being... You're being clear about your wants and needs. You're standing up for yourself with the Queen of Swords. You're cutting people, places, and things out of your life that no longer serves you. I feel like somebody here is still in love with you. And you divorced them or had to cut them off or they cut you off or something like that. Alright. But I feel like there's a decision being made too. Let's see. Yeah, about this Pisces or this King of Cups. So this is you. You're very in control of your emotions here. Okay. You're focusing on your money. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah, and there's a twin flame coming. I feel like there's a lot of money here between you and a twin. Or somebody you're currently in a relationship with. Or you're just happy. You know, you're you're investing in a business or you're starting one. You know, um... I do see um, your focus on your money, your business. Yeah, your success. You're very mature, stable, grounded, very uh, financially stable or financially secure. You're happy. I see a safe, too, in someone's house. Okay. I don't know why the Four of Wands is showing me a safe. I don't know why, but you guys, comment down below. Or well, this may be a Sagittarius who has a safe. Okay. I'm seeing success. I'm seeing teamwork, prosperity. I'm seeing, yeah, you're happy. You may be moving into a new home or you did or you're doing something different with your home. You're re you're renovating or remodeling or redecorating or you're rebuilding something inside your home or outside. Okay, um, maybe the landscaping here. I see landscape too with all of this green greenery. Okay, um, I'm just channeling a lot right now. Uh, so take it or leave it, you guys. If it doesn't fit, don't force it. Period. Um, I'm seeing a reunion, too. I'm seeing 
you may be reuniting with family and friends for the holidays, okay? Um, this could be a party or a celebration. Someone's birthday could be coming up, okay? I'm seeing, um, again, 1111 with the Four of Wands. So something is manifesting for you here, okay? Let's see what comes out for you, Gemini. Gemini. Yeah, it says lessons. So love, lessons learned, shift in perspective. Yeah, you're raising your vibration here. Okay. Yeah, let me see something. I don't like that card. Because I feel like a player is in the mist here. What's coming in for Gemini? I'm sorry if my kids are talking so loud. They're next door. Okay, yeah, someone wants to come in and apologize. It says confession, mending, relationship, rebuilding. So someone wants to say they're sorry to you. Okay, I feel like this person sees you differently now, whoever this is, and they have a shift in their perspective here. Is there some love lessons that they do need to learn? And I feel like they want to rebuild and restore the connection and apologize to you. Yeah, they may be wanting to travel towards you or go on an adventure, vacation, or that's you. Somebody here wants to travel. Let's see. Hmm. Maybe you're needing to take some time off. Maybe you're the one that needs to go on vacation. Yeah, see, you're focused on your work. Okay, it says long hours, working hard, love at work. So you may be traveling for work. Yeah, you're healing. It says reevaluating needs, self-care, self-love. You're moving forward. Yeah. You're healing here. Okay, let's see what else comes out. What I say, I cannot make this shit up, you guys. Y'all are happy. Okay, it says happiness, happy ending, feeling blessed and grateful, finding happiness. And there's a new cycle beginning for you. Okay, the end of a cycle has, has there's an end of a cycle here. A cycle has closed out between you and this person. You're making a fresh, a new start. There's a new beginning happening. I told y'all that. I told y'all, okay? I can't make this shit up. So let's see what else comes out. Gemini. Gemini. Sun on rising. Gemini. This is crazy. This this reading is like some Jerry Springer. Because I channeled that last night. This title would be, this reading is some Jerry Springer shit. And you're getting your popcorn and sitting back to watch the show. Or some shit like that. I don't know what, what's going on here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, somebody's having mixed feelings. This could be you. Okay. Because mm. I feel like somebody came in to apologize. And you're just focusing on your work. Maybe you're brushing this off. And it's like now you're, you're having conflicted feelings. You're unsure of the relationship. If this could work or not. You're very indecisive about this person. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So it's that and the fact that, you know, you're ready to start dating, meeting, new love interests. It says you're wanting to get over this person, but you're having mixed feelings or they are. Because they see you as their wish come true. It says wish fulfillment. All that you ever wanted. Dream guy or dream girl. Yeah. But I feel like there's a lot of fights. There's a lot of tension. There's moments of tension between you two. Yeah. It could be over like this money. Like your financial blessings. Or your financial uh, independence. Okay. It could be over money. Let's see. I told y'all. It's somebody fighting over some damn money. What did I tell I cannot make this shit up. Spirit don't. Spirit don't lie. The cards don't lie. If it don't, if it don't fit, don't force it. But I'm saying. This is some fucked up shit. Like, yeah. This person put you through some painful love experiences. Thorny ass rose. They broke promises. It says misled, trust is broken, unreliable, okay? And they're a habitual fucking liar. They're constantly lying to you. They can't hide in their lies anymore. This person is going to be exposed. Okay, there's new love coming in for you. There's true love. It says experiencing wholeness, unconditional love, long-lasting bond. It says there's someone better, a new love interest. You're letting go of this ex. It says revenge body, looking your best, focusing on yourself and punishing the ex here. Can't make this shit up, so you're focusing on you. You're setting healthy boundaries, okay? 
you're not letting anyone use you and you're not going to feel like an enabler to anyone anymore okay i feel like yeah you're setting up some healthy boundaries for yourself for this new love as well let's see what else you have coming in for gemini this is longer than i expected but you guys how's this all gonna play out <laughs> Yeah, it says unblocking. It says locked doors are opening, blockages removed, love is coming. So this is the outcome. The blockages are being removed. Like finally, right? Locked doors are opening and love is coming in for you. Yeah, there's a phone call coming in from somebody. Okay, so somebody wants to talk to you. They have an expression of interest, so they're very interested in you. Okay. I feel like this person is very communicative. Commu com they, they like to talk. They, they, they believe in communication is key. Oh, that's you. <laughs> Alright, let's see what else comes out. I have to go fix my son some tea. But I'm enjoying y'all company. And I hope y'all feel the same. Alright, let's get into this reading. I was thinking about this reading all night. I was channeling somebody fighting with you over money. And you live with somebody else. And you argue with the... the like, I was like, what? What's going on here? And it's showing up in the reading like, what? <laughs> You're very self-absorbed right now, as you should. Okay, focusing on you. Focusing on your body. Focusing on your looks. You may be a dark male. Okay? Or you may be darker. You may have a lot of melanin in your skin. And you're just dark. You're just dark. Black is beautiful, baby. Okay? Yeah. You had to distance yourself from this person. Or this, this person is at a distance from you. Because I feel like you had to learn karmic lessons. You had to learn from... Uh, past failed relationships you had to spiritually grow within okay and expand the soul i feel like you are learning right i, I see success in your career here i see a, a nice a nice good advancement at work okay yeah there's a twin flame um that you're connected to okay yeah you're dating someone here okay a twin okay yeah, I do see spiritual alignment too, alright? Hmm, I feel like something was short-lived or short-term. This may have been a marriage or a union, okay, due to a third-party situation here. Or you're in a serious relationship and there's a third party here, okay? And you're needing to choose between two people or... It's, this could be two family members or two lovers, yeah, or this is someone else. You may be a fair male, lighter than darker, that just fell on the ground. But I'm not in the mood to pick any cards up. Yeah. So this third party or someone that's in the mix, you're not um, wanting to move forward with them anymore. Okay. There's a blockage here because there's a third party involved here or interfering. Okay. There's some delays too. Hmm. Yeah, there's some blockages with someone that you currently live with or they currently live with or in your household or... Wait a minute. Yeah, it could be communication. It could be a delay in communication or this person is reaching out to you. They want to talk. Okay, there's a soulmate coming in. Okay, but you're focusing on money. Yeah, I see some money coming in for you, some money that is owed to you, or um, an increase in your finances. Yeah, this soulmate may be a friend first, or they're an acquaintance of yours, or you network with them. Yeah, it was meant for you to be with someone here, or this was meant to happen, this was destiny. Okay, you may be a brunette female here. All right, yeah. Spirit wants you to have more fun. Get out. I feel like somebody may want to take you out. This may be a friend or, um, yeah, someone wanting to court you and ask you out on a date. They may want to take you to an event, a concert, or just have fun with you. Yeah, this may be a new love here coming in. There's still a past love interfering here. Or they're still in your energy. Yeah, they may be cold and detached towards you, or you're cold and detached towards this person. Yeah, because they have a lot of options. I feel like you're happy. Yeah, you feel free. 
a sense of freedom and lightness. There may be gossip about you. This person may be talking about you or you're talking about them. Yeah, how much they tried to control you or they talk about how you try to control the kids. Okay, there's kids here, children. Shit. So somebody was trying to control their kids and shit and had their kids, you know, under mind control and what the fuck. It's like a puppet master here controlling the kids. But you're taking back your power. Of, uh, you're taking back control of something that's lost control. Yeah, there's a fan out there. Okay, they're obsessed with you. They don't even know you. Yeah, I feel like they're trying to make other people perceive you in a different way here. Make other people look at you bad. Okay, yeah. So you're religious into your Bible. Or this is a spiritual connection that you have with someone. You may go to church. Okay, happiness fell out in the reverse here. Okay, yeah, because there's a fake friend around you. Someone using you for clout or because of your status or money. Somebody's two-faced it. They talk about you. Yeah, they burning money. See, it's about money. Somebody's a straight gold digger. Or that's how you see them. I'm just giving you the message from spirit. I mean, this is what spirit is wanting me to tell you. That somebody you're dealing with is a gold digger. Okay, for real. Like, all they want is money and they argue with you if you don't give it to them. Or if they don't get their way. What? The fuck? Okay, what? I don't know who that message is for. It's very specific. Take it or leave it. Let's continue. Okay, they may be trying to knock on y'all door, you guys. I don't know. They snooping around trying to find out some information about you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person is very controlling. Well, that's how they see you. Okay, air sign, Gemini, Libra, uh, Aquarius, or another Gemini. Mm -hmm. Somebody has some bad habits here, or my, their mindset is all fucked up. Okay, what's going on here? What? Let me know in the comments, you guys, what I'm looking at. Because, you guys. Yeah, someone is lazy. They want to take shortcuts all the damn time. They don't do their job. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Earth signs. This person is extremely lazy. Okay? I'm just telling you what Spirit is telling me. Okay, I'm not sugarcoating nothing. Okay? Yeah, someone's a homewrecker. So it says breaking up a happy family, having affairs, doesn't have no respect for boundaries. Okay? And this person is blocked. Okay? They may be just... Knocking at someone else's door, trying to find out some information about you, or trying to get someone's attention. Okay, bossing up. It says, get into that bag, creating abundance and a legacy for yourself. Yeah, you don't have time for the bullshit. Okay, you're bossing up. Okay, trying to get this money or creating abundance and a stable, long term legacy for yourself. Yeah. Somebody is having legal issues. See, I told y'all. Somebody is having legal issues. They're going to court back and forth. They're stressing. Okay, look at somebody right here. How stressed they are about things not going their way in court. Or someone in court is fighting legal battles. They're stressed out over it. They're going back and forth to court. They're getting sued. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Gemini, y'all let me know. <clears throat> you may be taking this person to court, divorcing them, getting an order of protection, a straining order, restraining order. You may be um, fighting them in court. This could be child support. This could be something. Let me know, you guys. You're happy anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody is crazy. <clears throat> yeah. Somebody is lonely as fuck because they're a cheater. They're a cheater. They like sleeping around while having a partner. They play unfair, they're unfaithful or non-committal. Someone that's why someone's lonely. Okay? They're outcast. Or, you know, this person did so much cheating and, and sleeping around that, you know, now you're feeling lonely. Maybe you want someone but you're isolated. Maybe you're a loner. You know, maybe you feel like an outcast or it's this person. But whoever this is, they're a cheater. Or they just they don't play fair and that's why they're lonely. So I gotta go get my son some medicine. That's it. That's all I have for you guys. With that being said, bye Gemini. I'll see y'all in the next reading.